Hi everyone, this is Josh House of House Guitars coming to you once again from my shop in Goderich, Ontario. And we've got another video today in the House Guitars Different series, uh, taking a behind the scenes look at some of the, the features and materials that I use in my instruments. And the subject of today's video is glue. And you can see on my bench here, I've lined up all the different glues that I use throughout the process of building an acoustic guitar. And you know, as a guitar player, you may not have given any thought to the glue that your instrument's made from. And I totally understand that. Before I got into building guitars, I was a player and didn't really give any thought to, to how the guitar was put together or what kind of glues were used. I just knew if it sounded good and it played good, that was great. But glue plays a really key role in the construction of um, stringed instruments in general, uh, particularly uh, violin family of instruments and the guitar family of instruments. Um, unlike other instruments, uh, stringed instruments rely entirely on glue uh, to hold almost every joint together. And because of that, there are certain characteristics that you want in the glue that's going to go into a stringed instrument that will contribute to its sound and also contribute to the repairability of the instrument down the road. So okay, so before we get into looking at these individual glues and I'll explain uh, where they get used in my building process and why I use them, I just want to take a couple minutes to talk about uh, what makes a good instrument glue in general. Because we've got all these glues here on my bench and there's many more glues available on the market. And, you know, some builders will use some of these glues, some builders will use other glues, but there's certain characteristics of the glue that either make it a good glue for instruments or, or a, not a good choice. And there's a few different things that uh, a builder will look at. One is the, the hardness of the, of the glue. This is especially critical for stringed instruments where the whole purpose of the, the instrument, whether it's a violin or a guitar, is to convert the energy from the strings being plucked or bowed into sound. And that's done through, through the vibrations of the, the instrument. And so the, the efficiency with which the instrument transfers that, that string vibration into sound is key. Now, if you have a, a glue that's hard, it's going gonna, it's gonna to transfer that, that string energy very efficiently. Whereas if you have a glue that's soft in all the joints, then it will basically be absorbing the energy as the instrument vibrates. And another factor that goes along with that is the solids content in the glue. Generally, you want a glue that's going to have a low solids content. If you have a glue with a high solids content, it's kind of like... I've got these two popsicle sticks here, and if I was going to use this, this black piece of veneer to represent the glue, okay, say I want to glue those two popsicle sticks together and that black veneer represents the uh, glue with a high solids content. So it may, the glue may hold the popsicle sticks together, but you've still got a, a thicker layer of glue in there. And, and that glue um, is, is going to absorb some of that energy depending on how hard it is will, will dictate how much energy it absorbs. But the purpose is to get as, as little glue as possible in the joint um, while still having enough to hold it together. And you want the closest thing you can get to, to pure wood on wood contact. And so if, if this veneer, the thickness of it, represents a high solids content, then a glue with a low solids content would be like um, this layer of wax paper between the popsicle sticks. You know, it's there, but you hardly notice it. You get very close wood-on-wood -wood contact. And those are the kind of joints you want in an instrument. So looking for a glue with a, a low solids content, a glue that dries very hard for good energy transfer. And the third factor you want to take into account, the ability to reverse the glue joint um, in case the instrument needs to be repaired. Now this is especially critical in the violin family. Um, if you know anything about repairing violins or similar type instruments, you often have to take them apart. It's common to take the top or the back off the instrument to do a, a crack repair and then put it back together. So 
for violins, you're always using hide glue because it, it can be reversed easily with heat and water and, and the instrument can be put back together and, and basically the joints will be as good as new. So that's critical for, for some areas. Obviously a guitar is not going to be taken apart the way a violin is, but you do want to be able to take the neck off your acoustic guitar if it's glued on or potentially take the bridge off if the bridge needs a repair. And if you've glued it, say with Tight Bond 3, which is heat and water resistant, uh, you're not going to be able to take those pieces apart without damaging them. So those are just the, the things I keep in mind as a builder when I'm choosing glues and I've thought about as I've decided on the glues I'm going to I, I use in my building process. So for the next part of the video here I'm going to walk you through uh, the different glues that I use and, and where they get used in the building process.